the same way the grace and anointing for a dispensation is available in the spirit that's the same way there is a doorway open to every individual to enter into any possibility of his choice for a generation the key is what we call alignment when we talk about alignment we are talking about death to the yearnings of the soul we are talking about absolute submission to the government of the Holy Spirit that is on your inside there are many believers today they have the Holy Spirit no doubt about it John 14 16 he shall live in you and with you forever but the problem is that the Holy Ghost has no authority over their lives you ask them they say we are born again we have power I laughed I shared with them last year I said there's a difference between anointing and authority and many people that have not traveled in the spirit they are arguing I said don't worry there are some things we don't teach when you walk through life a time will come you will understand death is the key for spiritual authority listen you have authority in Christ you are seated with Christ in the heavenly places but you can never walk in that authority until the soul comes fully under the government of the Holy Spirit you will shout the name of Jesus over your circumstance until you begin to cough and you will not see result the power of the Holy Spirit is only committed to them that obey him in Acts chapter 5 verse 32 Peter said the Holy Ghost come down from heaven is given to them that obey let me tell you something Jesus was not only filled with the Holy Ghost Jesus was created of the Holy Spirit in Luke 1 45 he said the Spirit of God will come upon you the power of the highest will overshadow you and that thing that will be formed in you that means Jesus was a creator of power he didn't have power the raw material for creating Jesus is power Luke 1 45 he was a creator of power and that's not enough Jesus came into this world and the Bible gave a few of his credentials John chapter 1 verse 1 to 4 in the beginning was the world the world was with God and the world was God one Jesus is what God two the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him without him was not anything made that was made two Jesus is what creator number three in him was life three Jesus is what life four the life was the light of men Jesus is what light four credentials in addition to the fact that he is a creator of power that means on earth walking as a human vessel Jesus was God Jesus was life Jesus was light Jesus was creator and power but for 30 years all he was known for was a renowned carpenter the reason you and I will remain ordinary even though an angel appeared to you when you were five years old and said you are an apostle to this generation the reason you will remain ordinary is because you defy the requirements of alignment the word of God the power of God the creator was walking on earth for 30 years and was known as a carpenter not because he didn't have grace in Luke chapter 2 verse 40 he said the child Jesus grew in grace and in favor and in wisdom before God and before men so he was full of grace grace was not lacking but he could never manifest listen if you don't know your ordination you cannot have impact if you don't have the empowerment of the spirit you cannot have impact if you don't have life you cannot have impact right that's what encounter does but the fullness of your encounter is sustained and demonstrated by the quality of your alignment how did Jesus learn the way of death you know the Bible said he learned obedience through the things he suffered I know a lot of people that talk now that dealing is not of God don't worry you will do ministry for 25 years you will remain in one spot then you understand that what gives you authority over the principalities what gives you right over a territory are the confirmments that God gives to you in addition to your salvation experience 
Jesus did not need salvation because he was he was the first salvation. But he had authority over the land. Thirty years. He was full of the Holy Ghost. He had the faith of God. Everything you have, eternal life, Jesus had it. Thirty years, no authority. Until God wanted to anoint him with power. And the first thing he told him is to go to Jordan and be baptized of John. How can creator be imparted by creation? Is it possible? The vessel you created, how can he anoint you? How can what you created empower you? That means the key of baptism is not empowerment. The key of baptism is to teach humanity a lesson on how mortars can enter into a mortal economy. But how can creation empower creator? Never possible. But God was the way you can enter into corridors of power is when you die to the tendencies of the flesh. It's difficult. Jesus was showing up and John said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Do you know what that means? They had waited for that prophecy for 700 years. Israel was waiting for the emergence of the Lamb of God because in their belief way they can come out of the rule of Caesar is the emergence of the Messiah and suddenly the only prophet that they believed because John came after 400 years of darkness everybody believed John the Bible said the whole of Jerusalem and Judea went to him so anything John validate not the Sanhedrin have authority to him. and this man looks at Jesus he behold the Lamb of God that take it away the sins of the world if you receive that kind of citation and the next thing you are collecting the mic and God say, go and kneel down, let that person pray for you. You will say, I bind you, Satan. <laughs> Jesus came and John made things difficult the more. He said, no, I should be baptized of you. Because John had announced that the latchet of his son that he was not worthy to untie. The people were waiting for who John was talking about and he showed up and he said, baptize me. See, that's why the Bible calls it living sacrifice. Do you know how do you know how Abraham circumcised himself? He sharpened the stone by himself and he used it by himself and circumcised himself. Your eyes will be open like this, God will be chiseling your flesh. Those things will become the scars on your body that the principalities will look at and bow because they know that this one has traveled through the fire. When they come and they see a man with a scar. They know that this one have journeyed through the pathway of obedience. If you touch this one, heaven will move with jealousy. You are alive. God is chiseling your pride. He's cutting it off. You will cry. He will not hear you. And Jesus went down and John baptized him. And the first layer of power was given to John, to Jesus. And the Bible said the voice of God spoke from heaven. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. That is what announcement in the kingdom is. Announcement is not Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's your money. Nobody will follow you. It is spirit announcement. And when the requirement of alignment is this is my beloved son. He thundered from heaven. Jesus finished that. He has tried. And Matthew 4 verse the Holy Ghost came again. And led him into the wilderness. What? Do you, when, when was the last time you heard that kind of gospel? Every time you go to church, they told you this week you will prosper. And you have heard this week you will prosper for five years. That's why the anointing of God on your life can never flow. Everything God has to give you is, is wrapped in the Holy Ghost that is on your inside. You must obey the Holy Ghost until he delivers it to you. There's no sentiment on this one. Went to the wilderness, Matthew 4, 1, to be tempted of the devil. And God was watching. And he was tempted three times. And when he passed, the Bible said in Matthew 4, 14, that he returned in the power of the Spirit. The reason we do a lot of psychology and emotional stunt is because we have no power. When you have power, you know. There's no game about it. And we deceive ourselves. That's why when we meet real life situations, we are epileptic. 
the keyboard is not what will make the deaf ear to open it's authority the blind eyes don't hear keyboard the blind eye is opened by authority in this and the only men that can wield authority is those that return what in the power of the spirit they deceive you and say you are born again you are seated with Christ in the heavenly places the same Christ that had no need of being born again had to go through process before the power of the spirit was activated this is where all of us run away there are most of you God begins with you from the syllabus of kinder 2 and say don't go on Facebook and you are saying it is difficult who told you that is a dealing who told you <laughs> it's like when Apostle Arame will say if you fall in Makodi you fell in the bucket God said, don't go on Facebook. You are saying, Kai, this dealing is hard. What is dealing? <laughs> Paul said, what will you do when you have to resist by, with your blood? What will you do? Don't go on Facebook. You say, it's a dealing. You are joking. What if God said, leave your job? We don't know why we have no authority. That's why our prayer is full of pride. You hear somebody talking about death. And then his hand is like this. Everything is talking is pride. Pride. He's talking death. Because he had another place about death. When you want to see a man that have died, see the scope of his impact. You know why? When you yield to a spirit, that spirit takes it upon himself to amplify you. It is not something you negotiate. It's a reality that you cannot deny. This is why you will hear that, Adebuye, that the Adebuye is coming. You will not know how you will go to the stadium. You know you, you can't go for that crusade. But when that day comes, you will know what will carry your leg to the stadium. Meanwhile, another preacher is coming to town. They pre 10,000 flyers. And at the end of the day, you don't see anybody in the meeting. It's, it's where they stand in the spirit. The authority level is different. There are certain men that if they are entering a city, the angel over that city is the one that sweeps men into that meeting. Rank. Suffer it to be so for now. Our generation don't know that language. When the lady tempts him, he cannot say, suffer it to be so for now. When somebody provokes you and the Holy Ghost says, keep quiet, keep quiet, you cannot suffer it to be so for now. When they cheat you and the Holy Ghost says, no, 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 forget they what 10,000. I'm teaching you something that has eternal implication. What you are learning now, only 10 men have learned it in the whole of eternity. I'm bringing you into a lineage. This thing you are learning, this thing you are learning, this thing you are learning now, the only person that learned it in the world is called Abel. You will be the second to learn this lesson. And if you learn this lesson in your generation, you will be the progenitor of the men that have authority in the courts of heaven. Because Abel is the first man that spoke in the courts of heaven. If you want to have authority in the courts of heaven, die. They stole your money. Say, don't, don't complain. You say, no, me, Abba, I can't be treated. I know business. I studied in Harvard. Come on, what do you mean? Do you think I'm a fool? Uh, you want to prove a point. You think God will invest divine matters to prove a mundane point between you and your partner. You are a joker. You don't know who you are dealing with. 